Hi, it's David with Precision Zone. Today we're going to be talking about static checking the Yaskawa CIMR MT3 series spindle drive. And to do that, you do need to verify that this drive has been disconnected from power and it has been sitting for some time to prevent any accidental shocks uh, from the still charged DC bus. So to begin, uh, you want to verify, uh, you want to remove these two screws. Uh, just undo them and they'll become loose. Uh, you can then uh, lift this cover up, uh, carefully place it to the side of the drive. Uh, you want to verify that the DC bus has been discharged, so you can set your digital multimeter to DC voltage check function. You're going to put the positive side to the P side pin of this and to the N. And here we're reading about one, about two millivolts, uh, a little under that. Um, so that is safe. Uh, you're not going to be shocked with that uh, accidentally. Now you're going to want to switch your digital multimeter to the diode test function. You're going to get the positive side of uh, the digital multimeter. You're going to connect that to the negative pin over here, and that's connected to a negative side of DC bus, and we're going to be able to check UVW. And that should be about 0.32 volts on each leg from UVW for your outputs. Now you're going to want to switch your leads. You're going to get the negative side of the digital multimeter connect that to the positive side of the DC bus at this pin and you're going to check UVW which should be about 0.33 volts so that is normal. Normally we'd want to check the inputs as well. Uh, this drive uses thyristor control which can't be checked with just a digital multimeter. You do need more equipment for that and that can be done here. Uh, so for any other questions or further troubleshooting on this drive, please contact Precision Zone. Our team of professional technicians recondition and test these drives in custom-built simulators and machines, along with providing a six-month warranty for all repairs, exchanges, and sales.